Okay, got another video here for you. Um, a lot of people wonder about uh, how to clean contacts on their uh, RAM or circuit boards or PCMCIA cards. Um, the uh, PCI cards, all that good stuff. Pink eraser. That's how you do it. You get yourself a pink, pink eraser. I prefer using the fresh, brand new ones, nice and clean out of the box, you know. Um, if you can, if it's a little dirty, it's not too bad, but you want to try and, you know, cut away any of the actual black spots because that's dirt. That is actual dirt. You want to have the nice, clean, pink surfaces. Um, make sure it's a pink eraser, not the white ones, not the black ones, not those multicolored rainbow effect ones. The good old pink eraser, if you can, get a nice, you know, block one like this so you have something good to grit. And, uh, it's real simple. You just take it to the contact, and this one is from that same laptop that had the coffee spill. The, uh, the contacts on here have a little bit of filth on them. So I want to clean them up. So I just take it. And the key thing here is to kind of keep yourself grounded. I'm sitting in a chair that's grounded and this work surface is grounded too. Because you will build up some charge through yourself. You know, moving your arm back and forth and whatnot. But I'm automatically grounded by default. And you just take the eraser and you go over those contacts. The uh, pretty gentle if you can, especially on the RAM. Because you do have the smaller little pieces here you can you know, get a little too carried away with and hit them and that's it. You know, you just damage your RAM, you know. That would be really, really aggravating. And you just take it, you brush over it. I like to take the broad side and kind of go over all of them there. Now that's nice and shiny instead of grungy looking. And do the same thing all the way up contacts. And you will get a little bit of deposit. I don't know if you can see it. There's now a gray spot on this thing. Yeah, that's right. It's gray. That's so how much filth is on here. Just go back and forth. You'll pick up all that dirt. The camera probably can't pick it up, but it is like night and day on this uh, on this uh, RAM chip. And occasionally it does get fully gunkified. Sometimes you can just take your thumb or finger and just kind of rub it off. If not, if it's too bad, you just take old scissors or dental pick or whatever and just cut it off. You don't want that gunk to get back on there. And the cleaner it is, the more stuff you're going to get off of it. Now, you're probably wondering why, why an eraser, and why in particular the pink one? Well, you want to use an eraser because it's rubber. It is rubber. And it's not going to build up an ele uh, electrostatic field or any nasty electrostatic nonsense. So you don't have to worry about that right off the bat. Because if you were to use a paper towel or uh, anything like that. Now I'm going along the edges here. Kind of just a small circle. Here we go. Nice and shiny. Alright. And the pink ones don't have any extra pigments and stuff like that in there. Um, no weird additives like some of those uh, weird colored ones do. See if I just go like that on a circle in there, it doesn't go too well. But if I go, you know, it's just a corner and clean it up like that. Works really good in the polishing out.
work through them in the small circles to finish it off, make it shiny. But the pink ones contain less nonsense, and you don't want any nonsense on your electronics. You're trying to get the nonsense off. So why risk putting any kind of nonsense on there? You don't have to. Here we go. I'm switching corners. Save me the time of cleaning that one off real quick. For the sake of the video. And memory sticks, PC PCI cards and such don't put a lot of pressure on here. I uh, don't want you to break your memory. That would be bad for you. Very bad for the computer because then you have to get more memory. Which is even worse for you because you spend more money. And nobody wins except the guy that sells the memory. Unless you are the guy selling the memory and then, well, nobody wins. stock goes down. Well that's it. You can use the same technique for uh, like I was saying PCI cards, RAM sticks, um, sometimes the little ribbon cables you can do that. Um, this does sometimes work for uh, game cartridges. If you get a small enough one to get in there you can use these on the end of a pencil as well if you're in a pinch but keep in mind use extra care of those so that the metal of the pencil the little metal cap that goes around the eraser and onto the pencil doesn't make contact with these because that will damage your chip so that's it for this episode I'll see you next time